Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let me introduce my PhD topic, which is the role of knee injuries in the development of osteoarthritis. My name is Miklos Máté. I'm a third year uh, resident at uh, Uzsoki Street Hospital in the Department of Orthopedics and uh, Traumatology. Uh, my vision is to, uh, to bring along uh, and also to develop our center, which is, uh, which is already well known for its cartilage care and uh, repairment. Uh, and my mission is to help uh, decision making for clinicians uh, for daily practice and uh, also to have a more clear picture about post-traumatic osteoarthritis. Here you can see I have two ongoing projects. Uh, in both of my projects I'm investigating uh, uh, the short-term osteoarthritic evolutions of, uh, of the knee joint. In my first project, uh, I am uh, analyzing short-term osteoarthritic uh, evolutions uh, of, uh, of knees uh, after anterior cruciate ligament uh, injuries. Um, the two interventions will be the conservative and the uh, surgical treatment. Um, anterior cruciate ligament injuries are one of the most uh, frequent uh, um, sport injuries, um, which mainly affects young and healthy population. Uh, more than 300. Uh, 130,000 uh, uh, ACL reconstruction made yearly in the US. Uh, and the prevalence of osteoarthritis uh, um, is, uh, is 50 to 90 percent after uh, 10 years after an ACL injury. Uh, but also the superiority of, uh, of surgical treatment compared uh, uh, to non-operative is, uh, is low. Um, although ACL injury um, uh, frequently cited as an indication for uh, for reconstruction, but the, but the um, uh, progression uh, of articulated cartilage uh, degenerative change uh, is controversial. Um, here you can see uh, our PICO. The patients uh, were the ones with uh, ACL rupture, and the two interventions uh, were the surgical treatment and the conservative treatment. And uh, we are investigating the, um, the radiological and also the functional outcomes of, uh, of this kind of uh, patients. Um, our hypotheses were quite simple. There is no difference between surgical and conservative treatment on developing post-traumatic osteoarthritis. Um, we made a search key and we found more than uh, 2,000 uh, articles. And from the 2,000 articles, we only had uh, nine eligible articles. And from that uh, nine articles, we only have found two RCTs what, uh, uh, what have uh, comparable data. Uh, let me have some words about uh, knee osteoarthritis outcome score, which is a questionnaire. This was the only measurement tool what we can uh, uh, compare with these uh, two RCTs. It is a patient-reported joint-specific um, uh, score, uh, which is assessing changes in knee uh, pathology um, over time. It, um, it scores the range from 0 to 200, 0 uh, indicating the worst possible scenario and 100 indicating uh, no knee symptoms. Uh, it has five uh, different scales and from these five different scales we have uh, five plots. Um, um, only in uh, quality of life uh, we found a significant difference between the uh, two groups and uh, in terms of quality of life, um, uh, these results uh, favors the surgical approach. But the other uh, four, um, you can see the pain symptoms. Uh, there were no significant differences uh, between the two groups. And also uh, function uh, in daily living and, uh, and the function in sport and recreation, uh, we haven't found uh, significant, dif significant, significant differences uh, between these groups. Uh, the strength of uh, this study that uh, uh, this is the first systematic review and uh, meta-analysis uh, in that topic. Um, and uh, as I mentioned, um, we, 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 uh, our uh, hypothesis stands uh, with this one, that, that there is no significant differences in self-reported outcomes at two years. Uh, I, have, I, I need to highlight it that it was uh, a self-reported outcome. Um, we, all, we also had uh, limitations, uh, for instance, that only two RCTs uh, can compare with each other, um, and also that there we haven't found any radiological comparable uh, measurement tool, and uh, also what uh, we found uh, limitations, but not only in our study, but uh, generally it can say in the orthopedics, uh, orthopedic articles that there are a high variety of, uh, of grading, grading systems. Uh, in conclude, uh, the data shows that uh, uh, 
um, that we should uh, consider um, uh, rehabilitation alone um, um, after an ACL injury. Um, and the implication for practice also, um, we need to uh, encourage clinicians to, uh, to consider uh, rehabilitation as a primary uh, option. Uh, the implication for research that, um, as I mentioned, there is, uh, there is a need uh, for a universal measurement tool um, because um, uh, in that case we, we could have uh, uh, data uh, what we can compare um, and also too many radiological grading systems and can questionnaire uh, available. So um, it should, we should encourage authors to use uh, the, the previous uh, uh, used uh, radiological and uh, uh, questionnaires also. Uh, my second uh, topic is, uh, is a prospective cohort uh, MRI follow-up study. Here we, we would like to uh, see the early signs of post-traumatic uh, osteoarthritis. We would, uh, we would investigate uh, isolated anterior cruciate ligament tears uh, comparing the, the contralateral health in um, only limited data uh, exist um, uh, after isolated ACL uh, injuries, but, uh, but uh, uh, recent studies uh, showed us that uh, it uh, led to cartilage deterioration. Um, Subchondral edema demonstrated more than 80% uh, of, uh, of the MRI studies. Um, uh, but the outcome, uh, prevalence of the, uh, considering the prevalence of osteoarthritis, are highly uh, variable. Um, um, about uh, uh, the second uh, topic, the second uh, uh, background uh, there, um, we have a, we had a known uh, study, a retrospective cohort uh, study, where we also investigated isolated. Uh, um, ACL injuries with, uh, with the contralateral healthy ones, and we found uh, a significant uh, joint space narrowing in the lateral compartment. Uh, we um, also, that, that one led us to, to go further and to, to see these kind of uh, specific populations uh, by MRI. Um, so here you can see our PICO, the patients will be isolated ACL injured, injured uh, patients um, and the two outcomes will be the uh, two interventions uh, will be the uh, injured and uh, uh, the compa comparing uh, part will be the contralateral healthy ones. Uh, our hypothesis is that uh, ACL reconstruction is chondroprotective and also we would like to see that maybe abnormal tibial positioning uh, and um, the altered uh, tibial position can, um, can lead uh, to post-traumatic osteoarthritis. Um, here you can see the general eligibility criteria uh, we made through and um, uh, these are the primary outcomes what we are uh, wanted to see. Uh, firstly, uh, the MRI signs of early, uh, early, ost uh, early onset osteoarthritis like uh, the bone marrow lesion, uh, the proteoglycan and the collagen uh, depletion and uh, the bone bruising. We would like to go through with all the uh, well-known uh, questionnaires, also the IKDC, uh, the core score, uh, and we, uh, we are uh, using the ICRS questionnaires uh, uh, also to, to measure um, uh, and to compare the, the MRI signs uh, with the functional scoring uh, systems. Um, as an overview, you can see uh, where we are now. And I uh, have a quote from Confucius that uh, it doesn't matter how slowly you, you go as long as you do not stop. Thank you for your attention. In your first study, so you said that there are only two RCTs. Yeah. But I assume that there are other studies, like retrospective studies or so. I mean, that's not optimal for a meta-analysis, but still better than nothing. So have you considered to include those? Of course, of course, and we are planning to have a, 
uh, a descriptive part of, uh, of our study. Uh, in the systematic review part, uh, we are going to go through all the, uh, what I would mention, there are a high variety of, uh, of MRI scales, and we are going to go through all the, all the radiological uh, scales, what, uh, what these uh, studies uh, have used. But uh, unfortunately, we, we, we cannot, we, we've tried to go through with the statisticians to have some result, but, uh, but he said that um, we, we cannot perform any, um, any um, data from, from comparable data from that. So in the systematic part, it's, uh, it's going to be uh, a much uh, higher and uh, more, um, more um, wide, wide ranged uh, um, uh, study. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, in the other study, maybe that's clear to everybody except to me that how do you measure? Proteoglycan depletion. Um, well, it's um, this is something direct. No, it's, or uh, actually, uh, this is what uh, we wanted to um, have um, uh, measured a, a little bit uh, deeper. It's uh, it's a it's a kind of uh, sequence uh, in the MRI. It's called a T1 uh, uh, T1 row mapping. Um, it's, um, it's a kind of uh, uh, MRI sequence and it can, uh, the radiologist uh, expert can, uh, can measure uh, the chondrocytes uh, proteoglycan depletions. The chondrocytes uh, um, are uh, proteoglycans and collagens and, uh, and if we can see that there is a, there's a significant uh, proteoglycan depletion, it can say that uh, those, uh, uh, those chondral parts and those chondrocytes are, are not uh, livable anymore. So it's, it could be an interesting finding to identify uh, patients who are, who are at risk of, uh, of further osteoarthritis. So basically these are our main goal, to identify patients uh, who, who are at risk of, uh, of osteoarthritis. Second time today I heard that uh, it doesn't really matter whether you replace the ECL from the respect of uh, early or late uh, neostarthritis. Do you think uh, your meta-analysis is going to change the indication for surgery? Well, because of the lack of RCTs, as I mentioned, there are only two RCTs, um, I don't think that uh, it will be um, a real answer for that question. Uh, but uh, our uh, our aim is to have uh, in our second study also our aim is to have a, a more precise population a more um, more uh, uh, more precise and more standardized standardized uh, uh, patient group uh, what we are wanted to investigate to have uh, a more clear uh, data from that you so, mean active in sport active in yeah, anything exactly yeah. exactly if you uh, i i didn't want it to uh, go through with the uh, general LGBT criteria, but you can see that uh, the age group will be uh, 18 to uh, 35, uh, and also this uh, Tagner activity score uh, is, a, is a scale what, uh, what measures uh, that uh, if somebody is under five, it means that uh, uh, he's not active in sports. So, uh, so it's also a, 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 a system and also a, a criteria what we want to use uh, to uh, to have a, a more precise uh, population, because the, we have to admit that all of these uh, studies, what are in that uh, theme, uh, has uh, a substantial methodological limitations because of uh, this high variability of, uh, of, the, of the studies and also the, the, the groups and the control groups. Mm -hmm.